Hey there, just wanted to provide a quick update. I just met with uh, one of our clients that we've had for a couple years it's near Buffalo, New York. We love them. They are so awesome. And it's been a, a real pleasure working with them. Uh, something that uh, we've been able to um, celebrate and have um, you know, a win together is this office. They had staff members that you know were wearing multiple hats in a sense of like roles and um, responsibilities. And they have such talented and qualified staff over there, but they're just very busy with a lot of different things. And so occasionally, um, sometimes their pipeline of opportunities or leads would accumulate or pile up, not because they didn't want to follow up with them or because they weren't trying, but just because of time constraints, you know, and capacity. It gets busy. You know, they have a lot of things going on. And so something that I had suggested a couple months ago was to get on to our service called the Setter Center, where our team will handle all of the scheduling for you. And at that point, you just need to worry about um, those consultations that are happening in office and closing them. And so this service that, as mentioned, they've only been on it for a couple months. We have done over $100,000 in treatment uh, case values um, in just uh, that short amount of time. And also what's great about it is you know, that first part of the funnel of uh, scheduling, you know, is already taken care of. Um, the team, you know, at that point can work on going through all of the people in their presented column and following up with them, closing them, spending more time in that aspect rather than, you know, having to cover both roles, the setting, the closing and everything that way. And so the lesson learned here is just the importance of distinguishing or, or separating uh, those roles, you know, having a dedicated setter and a dedicated closer. You know, we've worked with offices that the setter and the closer are the same person. And, you know, it works. It, it can work. And, and if you have someone who's really you know, motivated and gung ho, it, it can work well. But when that person is setting, they're not closing. When they're closing, they're not setting. So there is a little bit of a bottleneck that can inevitably happen no matter how talented that coworker or employee, you know, is. And so I'm just really grateful for the team's cooperation and willingness to give you know our program a try and to have us set the appointments for them. It's going really well. We have another successful thing is communication. Uh, when we first started off, you know, it, it's new for both our team and theirs of getting a feel for the office and the certain settings and configuration of the office for you know scheduling. And so we did have to work out and tweak some things in terms of, you know, with the front office or coordination and this and that. But after we got those things resolved and figured out, then that's when we started seeing, you know, the momentum really build and, and seeing even more results. And so I'm really grateful for this office, for their communication. We have a text thread with me, our setter, their team. We're talking on it all the time. You know, this uh, questions about leads, questions about, you know, times to have them come in. And it's just a really great thing uh, that we have. So communication is key and also having those separated roles so that there can be that extreme hyper focus of um, everyone, you know, being in, you know, a, a lane, you know, if you will, and, and doing their thing. And then, you know, you can have a machine, uh, a well-oiled machine at that point of everyone just um, specializing in that task. And then everything can just uh, eventually flow better. Thank you uh, for watching this. I hope that it helps. If you would like to incorporate this into your practice, or if you have any questions, please uh, send me an email at alex at dentalimplantmachine.com. And uh, I'd love to talk to you. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.